Juggernaut Wars. It is a mobile game, and it is surprisingly pretty great. So we start off. It's it's kind of got that same formula we've seen before. Uh, you've got a couple people in your party. Uh, you can go from basically screen to screen, uh, attack auto attacking these enemies, and you have uh, abilities that you can use uh, that come off cooldown. So first, immediately. Right off the bat, this game looks pretty fantastic. And keep in mind uh, that this is for a mobile device. So even keeping that in mind, like this is probably one of the like the best looking of this kind of genre. I don't even know what this genre is even called. It's this kind of auto battle through a single path kind of thing going on. Very popular, and this game does it really, really well. I think, uh, and like the enemies back there, they're all look. Uh, excuse me. They all look pretty cool. Uh, the environments are all pretty great. It's it's a very vibrant, colorful game with uh, some, you know, very interesting looks going on. See, like this over map, right? Look how good it looks. So yeah, that's probably the best thing. It's just like uh, for the you know, it's on the go, and it just it's like that like. <laughs> The happy game that you play for like a bit of a boost. It's like, oh yeah, look at all these colors. Look at all these effects. And, uh, you know, the production quality in general is actually like pretty fantastic. Uh, all the sound effects are great. All the menus work well. Uh, like, I struggle to find really a reason to not play this game if you're interested in this kind of genre. There's only, there's only like negative thing if you're, if you're not really interested in this kind of, uh, auto battle through one path and like collect collect them all kind of characters thing that's going on in the background then it doesn't matter how good this game is it's never going to interest you but if you're remotely interested and keep in mind this is for the mobile device so uh you know games are a bit less um i guess uh complicated i guess we'll just say complicated uh, there's probably a better word for it but that's probably the best thing to say yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. So we just kind of go through here for uh, for a little bit, just try checking out all these things. Uh, I think there's an actually an auto even ability uh, button that comes into effect here pretty soon. But we're gonna get into the you know the second part of these kind of games, which is uh, collect them all. Uh, what I, I think of it as a Pokemon aspect where I have no idea why even games like this even go for like all this equipment and stuff. I, I guess it's just. You know, the kind of loot thing. So, uh, it looks like the environments and enemies are changing a little bit by little bit uh, every time you go into somewhere new. So, like, you've got, uh, <laughs> you have, like, uh, Elderwood, Elderwood Hecram there in the back. Uh, <laughs> he looks pretty cool. I like the big red horns and this big old uh, staff. It's unfortunate that, you know, these enemies don't put up anywhere near, you know, enough of a fight, but... And sometimes the effects don't hit as hard as you could possibly want. But, I mean, I, again, it's a free-to-play mobile game, so I, I, my expectations are uh, set accordingly. I think we come to a boss here pretty soon. I don't. I, I think there's, there's like, one boss, and then there's another boss, but the first one isn't on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Look how big that guy is. He is a total boss. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just using these abilities as soon as they come out cooldown, even though I probably shouldn't have on that guy, but... Not going to make much of a difference. I'm going to get three stars anyway. This is the boss one. Okay, This is where we get the new character. Uh, and that works a little bit strangely. Anyway, so I'm sure as, as you get further and further into the game, it gets a little bit more difficult so that you can't just breeze through it with, uh, you know, whatever you've got. I mean, I'd be surprised if you could take the starting squad of these three people and win the entire game off of it. That would be very surprising. Yeah, you gotta you gotta switch out like in the the uh, upgraded characters, the rare characters. They're all gonna look cool and fancy and all that, which encourages you to want to try and get them. And of course, they're gonna be a little bit more powerful. And I think it's a little weird that his voice cuts off in the middle of that sample right there, but uh, <laughs> not a big deal. So like that, she, uh, this character we're about to get has a pretty neat ability where she uh, does the AOE attack to the back line. So this time we actually get the character, but I, but in future characters, like, you have to collect shards, and you have to do it, like, ten times in a row to actually unlock it. 
Uh, which is really weird because, like, I don't want to play the same level ten times. I want to go through each level and get a new character each time like I did right there, but whatever. Oh, yeah, all these chests look really cool. These games are really great at making you want to, you know, open, open up as many chests as possible. <laughs> What do we get this time? Oh yeah, it's a new character. Some kind of weird ninja snake lady. Very weird looking. But it seems like she was pretty rare, so it's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're going to go throw those two characters into our party now. Oh yeah, I got to raise the experience level of my chick first. Which is so strange. Yeah, I don't really get the whole leveling system. It doesn't really make sense to me. Like, why why would you want to spend experience on the character? I don't know. And like, what? <laughs> it doesn't... Like, my... I don't know. Anyway. We have to get back Leia, whoever Leia is. So this is where we're going to pop our people in. We've got the three star, then we've got the one star. And we're ready. The squad is ready. Oh yeah, look at that snake lady go, man. The life steal, because that makes sense. <laughs> She's such a weird character. And we've got our support characters in the back, so. Uh, even though, you know, our frontline warriors are wearing, like, you know, nothing at all. Uh, we'll be fine. Our back line will be fine. The mage in the back is wearing the most armor of all of everybody. And he's supposed to be, like, the least defensive character. Anyway. Video games. Who knows? Oh yeah, we beat up that snail, man. We beat that snail to the dirt. That's how we do it around here. I wonder what leveling up actually does. Cause I'm pretty sure it's not gonna increase the. It's not gonna increase the star rating. So it just increases levels. Like, like it's just gonna increase like HP and attack and stuff. That just sounds so lame to me. Like, why would I even care about that? I guess it's just, like, another way to, like, I don't know, siphon money, I guess. I don't know. So there's the auto button. So now I actually don't have to do anything. It goes to being, you know, the autoplay battle system. Though this, like, this kind of thing where the, uh, the effects overlap can be pretty cool, but the frame rate tanks. Oh, yeah, that's probably, like, the biggest gripe, I guess, with this game is that the frame rate really takes a hit. When you start using any effects, and then if you stack effects, it's like, bleh. So here's another boss battle. The environment changed again, so that's cool. And it's still all very bright and colorful and looks nice. That's a big, uh, it's a big thing. Very important. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna have a game, that's fine. At least have it be pretty. <laughs> that's basically the motto for, uh, that journey game. There's that thing. Not a whole lot of single target jam damage, but uh, if you can get a, get a bunch of people grouped up, that's pretty much what a lot of these characters are going to bring, just like in Pokemon. Now, it references a Pokemon because that's pretty much what it's modeled after. Uh, yeah, there he is, the back line. <laughs> he doesn't know what's coming. He's going to get so wrecked. But yeah, you're going to be taking different characters for different things. Like, that guy has, like, an armor-breaking uh, deal, which you'd want to take against heavily armored foes or whatever. Or if you have a very offensive team, it's going to be great for the backline. So now we're probably going to pop into some menus here. I'm pretty done with... Uh... Yeah, I was like contemplating for a second. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm good. These games don't uh, exactly hold my interest for too long. So like you, as you can see here, it takes 100 stones to uh, summon these people. Oh, so you get to do it 50 times. That's... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Excuse me. Why would you want to do that? So I'll equip this chick with uh, some things, but... I don't know why her, like, splash art is different from the actual character art. Like, the actual model, like... I don't know why they changed it like that. And this, You can sell this for gold, I guess, but only 10 gold? It doesn't make any sense. 
I don't know what to do with this. Why is it so, like, shiny and, like, important looking, but then only give you 10 gold, which is, like, nothing? So this whole thing is just weird. Anyway, but it's, it has a whole bunch of different characters. Uh, I'm sure there's something somebody will, like, buried in there somewhere. There's the, the thing. Subscription for 30 days is just ridiculous. Why would I want to do that? I definitely do not. And you got like a VIP thing going on. You have your meat that limits how much you can do per day. You can buy more with your gems. Subscription. Don't want to get a subscription. <laughs> don't click that. Uh, and obviously, like for some reason, that second tab doesn't work. I don't know. Then you have all your other options. At the very least, this it, games have been much, much worse about uh, its UI element. At least this isn't too bad. So you go through here. There's tons of locations, man. This is going to be taking your time up for so long. There's so many places to go through. And they're all got their own unique looking uh, thing going on. Uh, airship, mine, frozen domain, chair, underworld, paradise. And it just keeps going and going and going. So this game, pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. If you, if you want to check it out, it's free to play. Mobile. Not too bad. We got all these other stuff. Inconsequential though. But you know, as a whole, not a bad game. There it is.